too. Yeah, it's kind huh? of a bad combination because the tropical system interacting with just a normal old cold front working mm -hmm. through, but the tropical system just supercharged that cold front. So as it was moving through North Carolina and some parts of South Carolina, the tropical moisture with the center of Ada way down here just got sent up into that cold front and it just squeezed out a ton of rain. Again, up to 10 inches of rain in some spots. We've got some showers in the forecast. It's not going to be anything like that. We've got rain returning to the forecast tomorrow. We'll track that with Futurecast in just a second. Dry, warmer as we head into the weekend. Looks really nice both Saturday and Sunday. Outside chance of a shower skirting through the North Bay on Sunday, but I wouldn't worry about it. The next good rain chance is going to hold off until midweek. So let's talk about the rain, and we'll start off at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. By late morning, we're going to be watching those showers moving into the North Bay. So we start off the day dry. Still, grab the umbrella on your way out the door. You'll likely need it later on in the day. Those showers steadily make their way farther and farther south as we head towards early afternoon. So about lunchtime, we're going to start to see those showers moving towards the Golden Gate and starting to creep a little bit farther inland in the East Bay. We'll Wind the clock forward to 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and that's when we see the most widespread showers. This isn't going to be heavy enough to cause any debris flow issues on those wildfire burn scars that are left over from the fire season that lasted so long and produced so many fires. The rain is not going to amount to a whole lot, but it is going to wet down the ground, likely make for a tricky afternoon and evening commute for commuters who are still making their way to actual offices instead of telecommuting. If you have the option to telecommute, well, then do it tomorrow because that'll make your life a lot simpler getting home. Friday evening, the showers push into the South Bay, and by tomorrow night, they're completely out of here. We're going to start off with dry conditions early on Saturday morning with a nice mix of clouds and sunshine overhead for the first half of the weekend, and temperatures should warm back up as well. Right now, it's a nice evening out there. Beautiful sunset. Sun just went down about 15 minutes ago, 56 degrees downtown. That's pretty typical of temperatures across the entire area. Mid to upper 50s with still Oakland holding on to 61 degrees as of the latest update. Just a few degrees warmer than we were at this point yesterday because because we saw more sunshine today, we'll flip that around tomorrow. Temperatures will back off a little bit because we are going to have those clouds and those showers. Futurecast starts us off in the 40s to around 50 degrees in most locations. The temperatures are warming up into the upper 50s by lunchtime almost across the board. Now, these are going to be the high temperatures from the Golden Gate northward. Right around noon is when you're going to max out because those rain showers will be moving in, starting to cool things off as we head through the rest of the day. Farther east and south, you're still going to manage to warm up a little farther into the 60s before the showers move in and drop those temperatures. And then everybody warms up as we go through the weekend. Mid-60s inland on Saturday with low 60s around the bay. Into the mid-60s around the bay on Sunday with near 70 degree high temperatures inland. The warmer weather sticks around Monday and Tuesday, but it's not going to be out of control warm, just maybe 5 to 7 degrees above average. The rain showers Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. It looks like three straight days of rain. Oh, get excited. No, it just means we can't narrow down which day is going to give us the best chance of rain overall. It's going to be one of those. We're getting a lot of conflicting data still at this point. 